I like the fact that we get to build this team with absolutely zero worry about the salary cap being involved. So I oh, can God, say yeah, I'm yeah, going to, yeah. so I'm going to take T Higgins and feel very good about the 20, <laughs> 24 year old wide receiver here. That is probably going to, you know, command a pretty steep. I mean, more than likely again, in reality, going to probably get tagged by Cincinnati. Who's probably going to be able to keep most of their core skill guys together for at least one more year as they figure out what they're going to do with Jamar chase. But yeah, give me T Higgins. It, it's a tough back and forth for me between him and Mike Evans, because obviously Mike Evans has the benefit of being far more productive for a very long time, 10 straight thousand yard seasons, no real sign of slowing down right now. But I just think 24 at that position is a little hard to pass up. Yeah, no, that's a trash pick by you. Uh, And mostly because you're taking a number two wide receiver, presuming that he's going to become a number one wide receiver when I'm just going to take the one wide receiver that's right there for me. Evans is the pick, right? Like the wide receiver group this year is stacked and it's impactful. But Mike, this becomes really interesting to me because it's stacked and impactful. But let's also be real. The wide receiver draft class this year is stacked. So it's going to be a real test of how GMs think team building needs to be done at this point, because you got two ways to go. You can spend all the money in the world to get you a T Higgins, or you can presume that you're going to get one of these first round guys. And there are several of them. There's like this year, there are several guys that are plug and play day one starters at the wide receiver position in the draft. So I'm genuinely interested to see if that freezes some of the free agency market when it all opens. Oh, I, I think outside of really those top, couple names in T Higgins and then in my, you know Michael Pittman Jr. is going to be in there Mike Evans is going to be there but the wide receiver market's kind of been pretty flatlined for a while largely because of what you said they're running into the running back problem where place that's kind of got a log jam I've always said the most accessible body type on the football field because that position can have a wide range of physical attributes and still be highly effective some people have migrated over to wide receiver and we've seen a ton of them come out because they're all prepared they've been doing seven on seven reps since they were 13 14 years old but now we're getting to the point where, yeah, you're getting the same problem where you're inundated with quality, young, cheap players every year at the position. It's not going to really change the value of Evans. It's certainly not going to change the value of T Higgins. I think where it gets interesting to me is the other name you mentioned. Pittman is somebody that I think most of us really love and and feels like he's growing into a really nice player. Are you going to pay Pittman epic wide receiver free agency money or are you just going to see where the draft like he's he to me is sort of the line in the sand to figure out uh, where it goes 